Everything you need to know about the upcoming VW ID bus is right here. When can you drive it yourself and when does it drive fully autonomously? We'll tell you all about it in this video. Let's take a look here. This is a prototype vehicle with a lot of different sensors. We're going in depth on that. Let's first take a look here at the design in the front. This still has a camo wrap, but you can already see the characteristic front very short as it used to be from the vintage models because this one here now, of course, is all electric, battery, 77 kilowatt hours net, and also from this MEB, the modular electric building platform from the Volkswagen AG. You can see the huge retro VW logo. In this case, this is the ID Bus AD, the autonomous driving vehicle. And there we have different sensors. We have 14 cameras on the top all the way around. We have 11 radar sensors. You can see, for example, the most prominent one here in the front and lower part. They will also be heated for this vehicle so they cannot ice and maybe you know fail or something. That's very interesting. And then there are also six LiDAR available. One big one, long range, in the top one. So this one looking 400 meters or 1,300 feet ahead. And then short range LiDAR, like rotary lasers, also all around the vehicle. And why is that? They want to use this one here in 2025 for autonomous driving, both in Europe and also in the US. First with a driver, later on then also when law allows it without a driver. In general about the ID bus, you can see this electric building platform is actually not a such, such a long vehicle. Look at that. This here, from here to here, in the short wheelbase version is 4 meters 70 or 185 inches. Yet the wheelbase is extremely long. You can see the very, very short overhang, both in the front and in the rear. 19 inch wheels here, by the way, but this is still then, see here the wrap around. This, by the way here, Argo is the company, both owned by, or big share by VW and Ford, which is developing the whole technology for the autonomous driving. Well, when can you drive it yourself? In 2022, early 2022, is available in the short wheelbase version in Europe to drive yourself. Then in 2023, the long wheelbase version comes for the US, then around five meters or some 197 inches. This will only be then, you know, available in the US for the long wheelbase version in 2025. Then everywhere also in these autonomous taxi buses, for example. You know, in Germany, we always call this one here or called this one bus, not because it's a huge bus, but a small bus, so to speak. But definitely, even though it's a camera web, it becomes clear that it gets something of this vintage touch it had. And especially our fans in the US are so much looking forward to get this one back then, finally, in the US. Then, of course, in this case, then all electric. What about the range? Well, considering you have this battery we already know, it is basically passenger based, not commercial vehicle based. We can maybe expect some 400 kilometers or 250 miles. Of course, at a later stage, we'll find out more about that. What is kind of clear also in the side profile, you have the sensors here also in the side, here also the side lighter. So for example, when you approach the vehicle and maybe you, you hold it with your smartphone, that the car actually knows you are here and you're not overrun by the vehicle, for example. The side profile as we know it, form follows function, classical box design and once again you can see here the very very short overhang in the rear. Recharging as we know from the current MEB platform has a peak of 125 kilowatt. We'll see if that one is developing over time and good news as for the battery and as for the range for the long wheelbase version there will be a bigger battery available. The final figures are not out there yet if you stay subscribed, we'll keep you updated on the final figures, both for the short wheelbase and for the long wheelbase version. So that we can also calculate with a little bit more range for the long version that is then to come, for example, for the US market. But of course, you can also order it in the European market. And now to the rear, we can see this typical box design, but we will have more than tail lamps, more in this horizontal way and actually you know, really slim. And of course, the very low loading sill that you can easily get things in and out. Especially here, the autonomous driving vehicle it has another LiDAR here in the rear. This is then a short range camera just for the area right there and more radar sensors right here. These then also cover a longer range. So very interesting concept, definitely. But you can already see, although there's the camera wrap, 
how the basic dimensions will be. Technology-wise, what's also interesting, this building platform here is rear-wheel drive. So the base version will also be rear-wheel drive. So you might have a sporty driving feeling for this kind of microbus. And you remember that the battery sits in the bottom of the vehicle. So low center of gravity plus rear-wheel drive usually results in a sporty driving experience. You will also have an all-wheel drive version, so that adds another electric motor in the front. And you know from the ID4, for example, there is this GTX version, so that will be somewhat similar. If it will be called GTX, hmm, who knows? But so to speak, we will have a performance ID bus right there. That might be interesting for you, won't it? The interior is not finished at all and actually it was off limits but for you we could negotiate a short glimpse and actually my impression when sitting here. So it's not the longest bus or micro bus then, as you say in the US. It has rather a Tiguan length but actually you can see when I stretch my arms I, I cannot touch the front windscreen because it's actually quite wide here although it is a short overhang. So you have a very spacious feeling because this module electric building platform is really using the interior space due to the long wheelbase. The interior here is also not finished at all. It's also covered here, you can see. And you will, of course, have a modern infotainment system just like you see in the ID3 or ID4 models, something like that. You have the upright seating position, as you know, and this also gives you some long-term comfort and, of course, way more than enough headroom with 1 meters 86 or 6 with 1. Another advantage for these electric vehicles is you have just relatively tiny electric motors comparison to the combustion engines. So even if you have the all-wheel drive version with the electric motor additionally in the front, you have just larger wheel houses so that the wheels can turn way more to left and right. So that results in a very narrow turning circle, important for the autonomous driving vehicle, especially in inner cities, but also for yourself when easing this car in and out of your parking lot for your family, for example. So I would like to hear from you guys. Would you rather drive it yourself or would you like to be driven? Maybe not to, uh, you know, no need to find a parking spot in the city or something like this. And of course, you can also tune into other videos from us like the Volkswagen T7, the combustion engine or PHEV version. They are not related platform wise, but still somewhat related usage wise. And of course, one of the main competitors, the Mercedes V-Class right there. Hope you enjoyed this insight for today. See you next time.